All right, hi everyone, meteorologist Rusty Dawkins with a couple of different things to talk about uh, this time. This time, uh, heat, uh, and then the chance for severe weather. So we'll start with the heat, and uh, here's kind of what uh, Stormcast has for temperatures as we head through the day on Tuesday. Uh, not as hot as it was on Monday. Monday we had triple digits all over the place, especially along and south of Interstate, uh, of Interstate 80. Now, just middle 90s, maybe a couple of 100s, but the heat index is going to be an issue as well. So the feels like temperature looks a little something like this. I think we top out around two or three o'clock in the afternoon with uh, upper 90s, lower 100s, maybe the middle 100s, like here, uh, this is showing Lincoln at 104. So it is still going to be hot, just not as hot as it was on Monday. Still, it's uh, for, early, for uh, early summer, late June, this has been a very warm couple of days, and then we eventually cool off as a cold front makes its way through. That cold front could spark a few uh, strong storms. So let's talk about that uh, after I point out the heat advisory in place for basically south central and southeast Nebraska into Kansas, Iowa, and Missouri. Uh, that goes through Tuesday evening. So one more day of uh, sweltering heat, and then we should cool off a little bit. So I'm going to show you a, different, a couple of different storm casts here a couple of short range models uh, that, uh, I don't know, the, the chance for storms is, is there. So if something gets going, it makes sense that we could see some severe weather, but here's, uh, here's this one. And I'll, I'll kind of go back and forth here a little bit. This first wave right there, uh, we're looking at uh, that potential for right here. So this area right here is kind of along this line. So anywhere along this line, we could see some storms that pop. And then that line, you can see, kind of makes its way towards the Lincoln area by about 8 p.m. So even though it doesn't show a whole lot of storm activity, it kind of does right there through Lincoln around 8 or 9. But anywhere along this area right here has the chance has some strong storms. And then there's this pocket over here towards McCook, which just seems like that's been happening over and over again. Uh, so yeah, this, uh, this line right here, and it could connect with that. So you could see a line of storms right there uh, as, you, uh, as we get through 7, 8, 9 o'clock at night, uh, Tuesday potential. So this kind of starts up here and basically northeast and parts of eastern and parts of central Nebraska has that chance for severe storms. And then it quickly, quickly kind of moves into and through southeast Nebraska into northwest Missouri uh, and uh, parts of Iowa. So that's that potential. Now let's look at a different storm cast here. This is a different model. It kind of shows not much happening. You can see some clusters trying to pop up. There's over by Beatrice. There's a cluster right there. So you're looking at this, this line, again, a line right through here. Now, what's, what's happening is models are troubled. They're worried that the atmosphere is going to be capped with all of that hot air. So that hot air, what that means is that there's warm air that goes all the way up. And storms need, they need that warm, moist air to begin with, but it also needs cold air to just burst through. And when you get that cold air, it just completely jumps into that cold air and becomes severe. Uh, so the, the warm, moist air, once you hit that cold, uh, it just goes straight up and becomes severe. And there's so much warm air all the way aloft uh, into the upper levels of the atmosphere that it, it is hard for these storms to A, get going, and B, sustain themselves. So this line right here is what we're watching, okay? Now let's keep going. See, there it goes. I mean, it's trying to pop right there. So there's the line of storms. That's around 7, 8 o'clock. But I mean, it could happen as early as right here because we're watching this line. It's basically like this. It's just this model isn't saying anything pops around two or three, which I, I can, I understand. I, I get why it's saying that, but it waits until about right there before it really pops. So it could happen as early as two o'clock, but this model has it happening about six to seven to eight o'clock and then quickly moving east. I mean, that's 10 o'clock right there and it's gone. So because of that, from O'Neill south and east, 
is where the, the slight risk is at. So it, the, the Storm Prediction Center, similar to what I was talking about, says storms may initiate here, and if they do, they would be severe. Now on the edges here, these are kind of those scattered storms that we were talking about, like near McCook. Uh, that's kind of different, uh, but that cold, that I don't want to say cold front because it's not going to cool us off that much, but it is a cold front. Starts here, and by the time it makes it into the Lincoln, Omaha, Beatrice, Hastings area, that's when the better chance for strong storms uh, happens, and then they quickly move east. So it wouldn't surprise me if we were to see a couple of different things here. Wouldn't surprise me if like this area right here gets changed into a marginal risk. And then this area right here stays the slight risk. And this area over here might, might get turned into the enhanced risk because that's where the better chance is at. Again, or it could just stay like it is. I mean, that's, but according to those two models that we're looking at, it does look like that's your best chance. Uh, for severe weather is starting around the Lincoln, Omaha, Beatrice area, and then quickly shifting east. I digress. Things, how they look right now, there's a chance for a tornado uh, along that line right there. There's a chance for large hail, especially where it begins. If it happens in O'Neill, large hail possible, and it makes its way south and east. And then the damaging wind threat, the further away you get from where they initiate, when it finally turns into a bowing segment, which would be Things initiate over here, if, if things start here, they would be hail, and then as they make their way into southeast Nebraska, it would turn into more of a, a line, uh, which would mean damaging winds. So that's, that's where they're getting that from. So your main threats here are hail uh, and wind, smaller chance for tornado, but it's, it's a chance, and then flooding maybe in some areas that are prone uh, to flooding. Significant hail parameter. Uh, if storms do get going, this is why that, uh, that northeast section of uh, Nebraska has the better chance. This kind of this area right here, if storms can happen in this area, this is that darker shade of orange, that's where you would see the larger hail. Uh, tornado parameter, the significant tornado parameter, you notice it's pretty small. I mean, there's some areas that are, are possible, like there and there if something gets going, but you really need to see these darker threes and fours and fives before really anything happens. And we're really just seeing the 0 0.1, 0 0.5, maybe up to one. Uh, so that means the updraft's helicity, even though there is some of this, which means the kind of the rotation and the spin, there's a lot of it out there. That's why there's a tornado risk, but there's, it, there's not enough ingredients to make it a, a real threat, a real worry. It's something we'll keep an eye on, obviously, but the updraft, updraft helicity is there until, so, until the sun sets and then it really drops off. So that's it for now. That's what I'm looking at. Uh, I'm sure things will change with that, uh, that uh, storm prediction outlook. Uh, the models are just struggling with all of this heat. Uh, they're, they're, they think it's just going to be hard for these storms to manifest themselves. So we'll see what happens. Uh, well, I'll have more updated information uh, later on tonight, and then again, uh, I'll try to do another YouTube tomorrow if I have time before the storms actually start. Uh, so we'll see what happens there. Uh, stay safe. See you next time.